How is going on folks? Hassan here and today we will learn how to install the code blocks under the Windows 10. Now um, the uh, code blocks they recently released a new version um, and they brought some change in their website and the downloads layout something so uh, some people get confused with it so um, here's the deal I'm gonna make a video that's gonna show you all the steps um, required to um, code blocks to be work on the Windows 10. So let's go ahead and begin uh, open a web, a web browser that you wish to then type in codeblocks.org and go to the website and here's a code blocks website that has a lot of mm, information on it but all you need to do is to go to the download section right up here um, this could be different the time you're watching this video but uh, because they're probably gonna change uh, their website could be I'm not sure but find somewhere the download and click on the downloads and then there you'll have uh, some different uh, options like the download the binary release or download the natly build the source code and there's another one just click on the download the binary release and that will show you some other options now the first one is the code blocks setup.exe that basically only code blocks and there will be no compiler so you cannot just execute the C++ or C code um, then you have some other uh, uh, version of coding editor but all you need to do is to download this one which is the code blocks and the version and the min gw setup exe and that means like they have the min gw um, setup which is the compiler for our c or c plus plus code so just go ahead and download that um, just hit the source for net and that will automatically start the download for you and all you have to do is this the download should begin automatically um, okay though I have already downloaded it, so I will not re-download it again but I forget something that there is other version for the Linux and for the people who do use Mac OS um, but here it goes only for the Windows right so I already downloaded the file and here it is so let's go ahead and try to install it open that up that show you a user account control a warning yes now to give it a permission to do it next you will have the setup uh, interface pretty much the same I agree okay and then show some of the uh, options so make sure everything is chosen because you don't want to make things uh, confusing so press next um, next install that will just install it pretty simple but if you uh, wish to manually install the compiler then it's gonna be a little bit confusing and a little bit problematic because many people get stuck while installing the compiler manually because it is not that much a easy to do thing for the beginners who used to learn C or C++ um, as well as for me as well <laughs> uh, do you want to run code blocks now okay no problem uh, next finish there we go all right so now we have compilers auto detection detected pretty awesome okay they find our compiler that's what we need okay and there we go um okay i'm gonna associate it with code blocks with the crc plus plus file types okay and let's uh, run a hello world application um, so all you need to do is press to create a new project and if it's something that you cannot find then you can go at file and from somewhere okay, from the view and you can somewhere in the, there is like open new and project there you can find this so I'm gonna create a new project and this is gonna be a console application press ok and press next I'm gonna write in C++ code um, give it a title say uh, test CPP. Uh, I'm gonna change the file name to be instead of CBP. I'm gonna change it to CPP extension, and I'm gonna save somewhere else. Probably on my desktop. Uh, I'm gonna do it on my desktop. Mm, I'm gonna create another new folder called uh, test CPP. Um, next, everything is fine. Finished and then inside their sources I have a main.cpp file 
which is what we do. So here we're gonna write the code and they already write a hello world application for us which is awesome but I'm gonna change it to a little bit. I'm gonna make it void and I'm gonna return nothing. Okay, that's it. Save the application and uh, build and run and oops I got an error. Oh my bad boy. I almost forget the C++ thing. That's very much <laughs> uh, you know what in C++ probably you cannot just return void from the main class um, so you need to be return an integer that's by default okay um, and don't don't get confused by the way and I'm gonna return a dummy value which is zero because we really don't need to think about what kind of thing we're gonna return now I think for any 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 other custom functions we probably gonna return void if we if there is nothing to return but for the main method or the main function we must return something in the integer so that's how we do it and I forgot the C++ thing <laughs> okay save that and then build and run there we go it's working fine as it should and I thank you for watching this video hope it helps and if you have any question or anything else you can go ahead and search me in my uh, with the username rocket TZ and I'm both on Twitter and Facebook and I'll be happy to answer you for a question out there and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this video